It's not, of course, win legal, so we cannot take that into account here. But Justin Gatlin running after an ankle injury up against Yoshida Kiryu, Kiryu who is the prodigal Japanese sprinter. The, the boy ran a 10-0-1 when he was 17. So a lot of people are looking at him. Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown also representing Japan. Um, very fast as well, very young as well, and Ryuto Yamagata, the 2012 Olympian. So we've got lanes three, four, five, and six for this men's 100 meters. They're going to be absolutely scintillating stuff. And we're going to wait to see, as I said, the personal best when it comes down to it. The tail of the tape is that um, Abdul. Hakim Sunny Brown has run a 10.28. Uh, Yoshida has run a 10.01, as we said. Justin Gatlin has run a 9.74. So those are going to be the lanes that we look at. Lanes 3, 4, 5, and 6 are going to be the ones that you should really pay attention to. There is Justin Gatlin. Uh, I was lucky enough, I can share with you now, to actually meet him yesterday. And I was very happy with it as well. This is Sunny Brown, uh, Ghanaian father, Japanese mother, represents Japan. And he's going to be up against Zhang on the outer lanes. Uh, Pei Meng Zhang in lane seven. Justin Gatlin running in lane five. And we're just about ready here for the big one. In lane one. In lane one. Takuya Nagata. Takuya Nagata. And in lane two. In lane two. Kazuma Oseto. Kazuma Oseto. And in lane three, Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown. Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown. One of Japan's adopted sons. Here he is, Yoshide Kiryu. He's only 20 years old now. Very fast indeed. And I wonder if he's going to be able to put any pressure on this man, Justin Gatlin. The current world number one. He's won a 974 and a 977 in the last two years. Ryuta Ryu, Ryu Yamagata, the 2012 Olympian in Lane six, Heimang hey Zhang in lane seven. China. And Ramon and Gittins. Ramon Gittins, Barbados. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. This is the Blue Ribbon event. Head. Remember, keep your eyes on lanes four, five, six. Oh, Only 20,000 spectators, I've just been told, are actually in the Todoroki Stadium as well. And this is the big one. Justin Gatlin on his marks. Yoshide right next to him. Sunny Brown. Yes, it's a go, and it looks like it's going to be Justin Gatlin, but look at Yoshide come through. It is Justin Gatlin, and it's going to be very fast indeed. 10.02 at the Golden Grand Prix 2016. Well done from Yoshide. And, you know, one of the, one of the things that people say about the 100 meters is it's just... It's over faster and faster every year. <laughs> but Justin Gatlin, what a run. 10.02 is exactly the kind. Don't forget, this is his first race back from an ankle injury to kick off his season. And he's kicked it off with a 10.02 in first spot. Uh, the 2012 Olympian Ryota Yamagata comes in second with a 10.21. Very respectable. But look at that gap between both of them. Uh, Peimang Zhang comes in third with a 10.26. Perhaps uh, 
dodgy start for Yoshida, which he had to come back from. Perfect start for Gatlin, but look at how he powers away at the 50 meter mark and then just keeps going. That's the kind of sprinting you need to do if you're going to beat Usain Bolt in August, and that is his goal. Well done from Justin Gatlin. 10.02 is going to be very, very happy with that. So he's essentially won a 9.74 in 2014, a 9.77 in 2015, and now his first race in 2016 is a 10.02. It's respectable stuff. And, of course, a bright future for Yoshide Kiryu anyway and Sunny Brown, both of them for really... It is, it is more of an experience running with Justin Gatlin than anything else. And there's a lot that we can expect from these uh, runners in the future, especially. Um, but for Justin Gatlin, there's only one man on his mind, and that's Usain Bolt in August. And he's just started his preparations for that run in exceptional form. Beautiful run from him. So Ramon Gittins comes in third with a 10.26. Yoshide, in the end, fourth with a 10.27. And... That's a very good throw, Justin. That's very good. <laughs> he used to play a lot of different sports as well. Maybe his, his hand-eye isn't that bad. So, Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown comes in fifth with a 10.34. Uh, Takuya Nagata in sixth with a 10.39. Yes, look at that start from Justin Gatlin again. Just explosive out the blocks. And at this point, around the 40, 50 meter mark, that's when he breaks away. And that's um, also the skill that Usain Bolt has over the 50-60 mark he is literally unbeatable but Justin said in the press conference yesterday he was suffering from an ankle injury doesn't seem to have any problems here now and um, we can just round off we'll get you the full results later on this is Yoshide um, uh, this is Yamagata sorry against Gatlin and it's around here that's where Justin really starts putting on the pressure and he's got the build of a sprinter you need a lot of that muscle weight, that lot, lot of that body mass, I should say, to literally push you through. But um, if you think about it, 10 seconds over a pan's sprinting future is very much um, set in place already. So Justin Gatlin with a 10.02, Ryota Yamagata with 10.21, Ramon Gittens with a 10.26, Yoshide Kiryu with a 10.27.